Hi. I got a tape I want to play. So the pen is mightier. Who'd have thunk it? He said to the bleeding man, tied down to a messed, stained bed. The bound man figured, even though he just got to an L.A. plagued by criminals, killers, and copycats, that he wasn't getting out of here whole. Finally. Holding a penknife, red-faced and sweating, was his captor. It had been a struggle to awake and realize who stood before him. Quill. The exact killer he'd been looking for. He had heard about him in the Halo Herald, an L.A. pun. It's not very popular, but he liked the funny section. Are you just gonna stand there? The bound man says eagerly. Hey bud, you're the hanged man, I'll do the talking. It's about time. Huh? I'd been waiting, heard you'd be at that open mic. Knew you liked the melee type. Shut up or I'll write you off. Quill runs his penknife over the bound man's right cheek. Stings a little, usually. I start with a roofie and emotional damage. But it looks like you want to cut to the chase. I'm a man of a similar mind, spirit, problem. Nobody's like me, dude. The bound man locks eyes with Quill. What are your trophies, huh? I read you like to drain your victims, cook them dry. Don't you use their blood and powdered remains as ink? Short stories or something? Oh, an avid reader. It's your lucky day. You get to be part of the collection. The lamp nearby tumbles to the floor as Quill lunges, ready to kill. Wait, don't you want to know who I am? Not really. I'm a s- The sentence is finished by nothing but the sound of blood and air, gurgling into places it was never meant to be, as Quill's blade passes through flesh. <laughs> what do you think you're special? Quill saunters over to the sink. I hate to waste ink, but there'll be more. There's always more. Isn't that right, Celine? He says to no one, and stands there with a smirk as if listening to her.